What's up, guys? It was a little uh, impromptu estate sale I hit this morning uh, with Darcy, actually. She was my lucky charm. Um, it was this house. It was pretty run down. Everything in it was, you know, kind of gross and nasty. It's kind of like a hoarder situation. Um, I guess the family flew in from out of state. Arizona. Yeah, Arizona. And they're selling everything because they got to sell the house. Um, so I made like piles of stuff. Darcy was shopping with me. It was pretty funny. And I had like my little car with me, you know, because I can't have Darcy in my van. And I told him like, look, I'll come back. I'll bring my van. Uh, I'll get all this stuff. There's like furniture and signs and knives and just all kinds of stuff. Um, so when I left, I called Tony. I was like, hey, you need to go check this place out. What'd you find? I found a howitzer ammunition crate, a green metal military uh, box, pretty heavy, um, a deer antler candelabra. And oh, I did see that on the table. On the dining room table. Yeah. And uh, some pocket knives, knives, uh, military binoculars, I think they are. They had a bunch of cool stuff, a yeah. lot of military... A lot of knives, tons of collectibles. Um, but yeah, we're heading back there right now to did pick up the, all that stuff. Did you see that gun safe? No. Back in the, the back house? room. Oh my God, it's antique. Yeah. It's huge. I mean, it's a like six foot tall, big. Did it have guns gun. in it? No. But it looked like a bank vault, like with the wheel type of thing. Oh, uh, they won eight hundred bucks for it. They said it's about a three thousand dollar. Wow. Gun safe. And I totally believe that. Yeah. But as far as getting it out of there, no. Nah. Yeah. Um, I don't know how the heck somebody moves in there. But anyway. It was cool. So you said this, uh, this like little tiny guy came in. Oh, let's <laughs> not talk about the tiny guy. <laughs> Let's not talk about the dimin diminutive um, mid-century modern stereo electronics guy. We won't mention any names. Because <laughs> this might go live, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Basically, when Tony went back, this guy, you know, was being a jerk, you know, like asking him, where's all your good stuff? And, you know just giving them all kinds of hassle and, you know, trying to get in the basement when they didn't want to let them in the basement and, you know, just being a jerk. Sometimes it's hard, you know, because you want to get the deals and, you know, you got to be aggressive, but you got to keep your manners and your wits about you, you know, you don't want to lose who you are when you're trying to make some money. He's definitely making people uncomfortable. Too aggressive. You seem uncomfortable just talking about it still. Yeah. 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 I wanted to leave. Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> between cool holy crap can you believe that what that hall back there 
Guys, that was a mega pick. Oh, wait a minute. Are we live? Here, I'll no, start no, you're, that's okay. That's okay. You can leave it go. I just want to make... Is my hair okay? <laughs> I didn't get boogers on my nose, do I? All right. Sorry. That was an absolute mega pick. The van is totally loaded. So we, we loaded what we had bought, and then he let us go down to the basement, and we just found all kinds of stuff. He got a, an old payphone still in, like, the box. It looked like seven, like seventies. Yeah, like chrome, it, like. it was chrome. I've never seen one like it, really. Yeah, it was pretty different. We're gonna have to look that up. Yeah. I got a uh, Atari, which happened to be inside a Nintendo box. So the Nintendo box has some value. Um, there was like this electronic skeet shooting game with the guns. Uh, we pulled out some old trophies. I got this box of like brewery collectible stuff and there was a stack of patches still in the wrapping of like Weedem and Brewing. There was like a dozen of them. What all did you pull out of that basement? Dude, the Coney Island things. Oh yeah, the tickets. The Coney Island tickets. We've got original Coney Island tickets that say five well, cents. That's Cincinnati Coney Island, not New York Coney Island. Right. And they look old. They do look old. I'm keeping some of those. Yeah. Those are going in my case. At home. Like a pile of them. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta give me one. Oh, yeah, of course. All right. What, how much did we spend? I only spent 40 bucks. I think I spent about 500 I think I spent around $500. Huh. Well, we got a van load. Yeah, we have a literal van load. There's two buffets in there, an old phonograph, just tons and tons of stuff. I don't think I have time to dig it all out today, unfortunately. So, probably dig it out tomorrow at the warehouse. And, talk, uh, talk about your bicycle. What is that? Bicycle. Why, oh, yeah. Why is that so? Why did you spend so I much I got on a that? Mongoose Decade brand bicycle. Not Mongoose brand. Decade is the model. Uh, it's a bicycle from the 80s. Um, I don't know a ton about them, but I phoned a friend and he told me to buy it. I paid 200 bucks. Um, paid I, up? Yeah, paid up. Um, but, you know, they've got five, $600 value roughly. So. How will you move it? Probably local. I don't know if I want to ship that. Yeah, I bought an absolute ton of stuff. I can't wait to dig through because some of it was just like five bucks for the box. You know, I wasn't even digging through it all that deep to see what all was in it. They just wanted the stuff out of there. Yep. How'd you find it this morning? I don't usually look on Sundays. It was, um, yeah, it's funny because I usually don't go on Sundays, but... Whitney went down to the Flying Pig Marathon to pass out water with her work. So I had Darcy and I was like, oh, there's a sale, you know, not too far. It starts at 8. So we got up and headed over. It was on the yard sale treasure map. At... I've never seen that. I just go to Garage Sale Finder and yeah. Craigslist yard sales. It's called what again? Uh, yard sale treasure map. You hear that, everybody? Sending out competition. Yeah. We're going to unload all this stuff, but we don't have power. A raccoon actually climbed up the uh, electrical pole and chewed a transformer. So, got to get a new whole transformer. So, we're going to pull some of this out and show you guys as best we can in the dark. These are pretty cool. A whole bunch of Coney Island tickets. Cincinnati Coney Island, though, not the New York Coney Island. Five cents. No year on them though. A whole bunch of beer cans. They actually gave these to me. Did you know he gave me these cans? No. Those extra boxes as we were like loading up, he's like, hey, just take these. This is a uh, vintage electronic two-man skeet video game, uh, and it has the guns with it. A little rough, but it should clean up nice. I don't. It might be missing something. I don't know. 
power jack. Yeah, I don't even know if we'll be able to get this thing working or not. Yeah, here's the cherry piece right here. Uh, Mongoose Decade. Um, actually, I had to pay up for this one. I paid 200 bucks for it. Tires are pretty much gone, um, but I think it's got some serious value to it. Neato. Got a bunch of beer stuff, like candles and big thick of new old stuff patches. Oh, fine. Huh? In the S box, there's actually an Atari inside here. Some kind of toy or something. Oscar the Grouch, Sesame Street. some archery trophies at this sale. This box open. And the one that caught my eye is right here. Do you see these archery trophies? I didn't get a close look. Trophy Company. I'm almost wondering if that's Bakelite. The Lady Archer. These are cool, man. Hey, do you think this is Bakelite? No. No? No. Um, these... these kind of, um, they just, it just comes out of here. This one don't have a front. Is that what they call it? A cone? A cone? Yeah, I don't know. A horn. A horn. A horn. Thing. Andrew's standing back like it's going to explode or something. <laughs> no, I didn't know you were recording here. <laughs> okay, who do we have here? We have the John Barbaroli and his orchestra. Side A, Pierre Gint, Suite Number One by Grieg, Opera Forty Six. Thank you. 